Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Intrica 2018 in Peru. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 035 underscore BIAB where you save. You can also go and download this file on my website or use your own file. If you don't have access to any exercise file, just sit down and watch the video. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. If you plan to open this file in earlier version of AutoCAD, go to the file of type and click the down arrow, change it from AutoCAD 2018 and select the version of AutoCAD you plan to open this file in the future. I'm going to select AutoCAD 2007, rename the file to 00 underscore 036 underscore DIAB. Click the save button to save this file. AutoCAD save this file to a new name. Zoom in into this area. Go to the status bar and click the down arrow after the workspace switches and select drafting and annotation. If you can recall the last tutorial we bring a new tab which is a 3D tools tab. But now the tab is no more. To avoid this problem Let's bring the tab again and save the workspace as a custom workspace. Now right click into this empty area and select the tab option. Place a check mark on the 3D tools tab. Select the empty area again, show tab and select visualization. Now click the down arrow after the drafting and annotation workspace and select the save current as. Rename this workspace to my drafting and annotation workspace. Now if I go to the workspace switches and change the workspace to 3D modeling, select the workspace switches again and select drafting and annotation. You see the two tabs that we had previously are not there. But because we save the workspace as a custom workspace, we can go and bring the custom workspace. Let's go and bring the custom workspace and see what it gets for us. Click the down arrow next to the workspace switches and select my drafting and annotation workspace which is our custom workspace that we created previously you see the workspace count the two the two tabs the 3d tools tab and visualize tab now zoom in into this area right click the ucs and select the face option at the select face of solid surface or mesh prompt zoom in into this area and hover the mouse cursor into this column and click press enter to accept go to the home tab drop panel and select the 2d polyline command at a specified start point prompt use the endpoint object snap and snap to this vertex move the mouse cursor type 21 feet on your keyboard press enter press enter to end the line command zoom in into this area close this palette if you have a recovery palette go to the visual style control click the realistic and select 2d wireframe Select this line and this solid, right click in the drawing area, isolate, isolate objects. Zoom in to see the entire object. Go to the view control and select the front. Zoom in to see the line end to end. Go to the home tab, drop panel and select the polyline command. At a specified start point prompt, click on this area. Move the mouse cursor to the left, type 0.5 on your keyboard, press enter. Move the mouse cursor up, zoom in, type 3 inches on your keyboard, press enter. Move, type, point, 5, press enter. Press enter to end the command. Now select this polyline, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the array command. This will bring the array creation tab. Change the rows to 43 and press the tab key. Change the column, the number of columns to 1. Press the tab key and change the space between to 6. Press the tab key. Zoom to see the preview. Alright, we need to reduce one item. To do that, go and change the number of rows to remove this last one. Go and change the number of rows to 42 and press the tab key. Click the accessibility to deactivate it. Press enter to end the command. Select this object, right click. Isolate, hide objects. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. Press enter, move the mouse cursor and trim off 
this line Type R on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line, press enter. Let's escape to get out of the command. Now type join on your keyboard. Press enter. Select all of these objects. Press enter. AutoCAD join this object into one polyline. Now go to the home tab, drop panel and start the polyline command again. At the specifying first point prompt, avoid the mouse cursor into this area, move out and type 1 inch on your keyboard, press enter. Move the mouse cursor down and type 20 feet 6 inches, press enter. Press enter to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Type M on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and fillet it to this line. Select this line, fillet it to this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Right click into the drawing area, isolate, end object isolation. Right click the UCS and select world. Go to the visual style control, click the 2D wireframe and select realistic. Hold down your shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Now we need to sweep this object into a profile and subtract the solid from this object. To do that, go to the home tab layer panel and select the freeze layer button. Freeze this column, the foundation, press escape to get out of the command. Now change your visual style to 2D wireframe. Zoom in into the area and select this line. Hold down Control shift and type C on your keyboard. At the specified base point prompt, click on this area. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. Use the mouse cursor and snap to the end, this end point. Now draw the line from that point and right click and select the perpendicular object snap. Snap perpendicular to this edge and move the mouse cursor snap to this edge. Press escape to get out of the command. Change the visual style to realistic. Select the polyline command again and snap to the end point of the profile. Zoom in closely so that you can see the end point of this profile and snap. Move the mouse cursor, snap to this end point and right click perpendicular object snap and use the perpendicular object snap, snap perpendicular to this wall, press escape. Change the visual style to 2D wireframe Select this path, this path, the profile, and this solid. Right click into the drawing area, isolate, isolate objects. Go to the 3D tools tab, modeling panel, and select the sweep command. At the select object from select this profile, press enter. At the select path from select this path. Right click into the drawing area, isolate, end object isolation. Change the visual style to realistic. Go to the 3D to sub solid edit panel and select the subtract command. At the select object from select this solid, press enter. At the select object from select this solid, press enter. AutoCAD subtract this object. Hold down your control key, type V on your keyboard to bring the profile you copy, profile that you copy on the clipboard. Select this vertex. Change the visual style back to 2D wireframe. Select this profile. Go to the 3D tools tab, modeling panel and select the sweep command. At the select path prompt, select this path. Change your view back to realistic. Go to the 3D tools tab, solid edit panel and select the subtract command. At the select object prompt, select the solid, press enter. At the select object prompt, select this solid, press enter. Hold down control key and type V on your keyboard. Paste the profile, go to the home tab, draw panel and start the polyline command to draw another profile. Zoom in into this area and snap to the end point of the profile. Move the mouse cursor into this corner and snap, snap into this corner. Press enter to end the command. Change the view back to 2D wireframe. 
go to the 3D tools tab, model in panel and select the sweep command. Select the profile, press enter and select the path. Now select this solid and the slab. Right click, isolate object, isolate object. Go to the 3D tool tab, solid edit panel and select the subtract command. At the select object prompt, select the slab, press enter. At the select object prompt, select this profile, press enter. Right click into the drawing area, isolate and object isolation. Change the visual style to realistic. Change the visual style to shaded with edge. Hold down the control key and type V on your keyboard. At the specify base point prompt, use the base point and snap to this area. Now we need to move this profile into a new location. We're going to use this profile into this area. To do that, select the profile, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the move command. At the specify base point prompt, zoom in into this area and snap to the end point of the profile. Now move the mouse cursor and snap into this profile press escape to get out of the command we need to edit this lab i found some errors but don't worry we'll edit this error before we proceed go to the 3d tool start solid edit panel and select the press pull command select this face if you have the same problem and snap it to this face hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button Select this face and snap it to this face. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the rotate command. At the select object prompt, select this profile, press enter. At the specified base point prompt, click at this end point. Turn on your auto mode and hold down your shift key with your middle mouse button to orbit around. Rotate this profile in this direction. Click. We need to move this object into, into place. To do that, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the move command. At the select object prompt, select the profile, press enter. At the select, at the specified base point prompt, use this endpoint as a base point and snap it here. Press enter to repeat the move command again. Select the profile, press enter at the specified base point front, click on this area, move the mouse cursor in this direction and type point 5 inches on your keyboard. Go to the 3D tool tab, modeling panel and select the extrude command. At the select object prompt, zoom in into this area and select the profile, press enter. Now hold down your shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit, pan the draw end and snap into the edge of the wall, not the edge of the slab. Go to the 3D tool tab, solid edit panel and select the subtract command. At the select object prompt, select this solid, press enter. At the select object prompt, select this solid, press enter. Go to the home tab, solid edit panel and select the press pull command. Zoom in into this area and correct this error if you have the same error. Press escape to get out of the command. You see, after the application of this command, the windows will get some funny end in the window. To correct this problem, let's create a reveal around the window. To do that, select this window and this window, right click, isolate, isolate objects. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the rectangle command. We cannot draw a rectangle in this plan. Rectangle is a 2D command. You can only draw it in the X and Y plan. But that's okay. Now, right click the UCS and select the face option. Zoom in into this area and click. Press enter to accept. Now the X and Y plan will take to the face of the window. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the rectangle command. At a specified first corner prompt, 
move the mouse cursor and snap into this vertex at the space if I order point prompt move the mouse cursor and snap into this corner press enter to repeat the rectangle command snap into this corner and this corner now select the window this window right click isolate hide objects now we need to draw a profile around this windows this review so now go to the home tab drop and select the line command at a specifying first point prompt start from this point and move the mouse cursor into the negative z direction type point five press enter press enter to end the command orbit around to see the line that you just create start the line command again start at the end point of this line and move out type one inch on your keyboard and press enter press enter to repeat the line command again at the specify start point prompt start from this point type 2.5 inches press enter type 1 inch press enter type 2 Point five. press enter press enter to end the command now right click and select the wall option go to the home tab drop panel click the down arrow and select the divide command at the select object prompt select this line at the enter number of segment prompt type 5 press enter now go to the home tab drop panel and click the down arrow under the circle and select the two point option at the specified first end point of a circle diameter prompt, move the mouse cursor and click into this point. At the specified second point of a circle diameter prompt, move the mouse cursor and click here. Press enter to repeat the circle command again. Type 2 P on your keyboard and press enter. At the specified first end point of circle diameter prompt, snap to this node and move the mouse cursor and snap to this node. Select the point, right click, select similar, hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. Select the circles, the two circle and the line, press enter. Trim off this area, this area, this area, this area. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Type R on your keyboard and press enter. Type 0 0.125, press enter. Select this corner and this corner. Press enter to repeat the fillet command again. Type M on your keyboard and press enter. Select this and this corner. This corner and this corner. This circle, this line, this circle this line this circle this line press escape to get out of the command now type join on your keyboard press enter use a window selection and select the entire profile press enter autocad convert this object into one polyline select this polyline go to the home tab modify panel and select the copy command at the specify base point prompt snap into this end point and zoom out and snap it into this point press escape to get out of the command go to the 3 d tool tab modeling panel and select the sweep command select the profile press enter and select this we have an error sometimes this happen occasionally when it drop so go to the home tab modify panel click this down arrow and select the break at a point select this line move your mouse cursor up you can turn on your object snap if it disturbs your operation click to open the figure we can join this after we sweep the select this profile hold down the control and the shift key type letter c on your keyboard at the specified base point point move the mouse cursor and use the far left rectangle turn on the object snap as the base point press escape now back into this model go to the 3d tool tab modeling panel and select the sweep command select the profile press enter and select the path now we need to close this figure to close this figure 
go to the 3d tool start solid edit panel and click the press pull command at the select object or bounded area prompt click on the face of this solid now move the mouse cursor and snap into the end point of this solid press the skip to get out of the command now right click into the drawing area isolate end object isolation this is the result so we need to copy this into the other window at this select this solid go to the home tab modify panel and select the copy command at the specified base point prompt snap at this vertex now move the mouse cursor hold down your shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit orbit to get a better orientation and snap at this vertex press escape to get out of the corner go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property at the select source object prompt select this column at the select destination object prompt select this reveal select this reveal press escape to get out of the command now when you look at the roof we use the surface that we grid for the roof to slice the attic wall and the gables so when you zoom in because of the surface is so thin and intersect with the solid you see the solid below in real world even the roof the zinc itself has a thickness so we need to give a thickness to this surface to do that let's use another another 3d command to do that go to the 3d tool sub surface panel and select the ticking command as you select surface to ticking point select the surface this surface and this surface press enter at the specifying thickness point type point two five press enter press enter to repeat the ticking command again select the surface this surface this surface hold on the shift key if you select object that you don't want to select and click it to deselect it press enter at the specified thickness point type point two five press enter now right click into the drawing area isolate end object isolation go to the home tab layer panel and click the third layer button go to the view control and click the custom view select se isometric go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button all right in this tutorial we use a we create a profile and sweep it to a part to groove our wall we design the reveal around the, the windows that are in the wall that we do and we use the ticking command to tick in our room so if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue on this series or any other tutorial on my channel please click the subscribe button thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye